Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Franchise Hockey Manager 8 with the Buffalo Sabres. And I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. We'll, we'll start with the bad news. The bad news is I forgot to press record uh, and I was just recording for, or I was uh, playing the game for about the last 35 or 40 minutes. Um, I forgot to press record and we won the Stanley Cup. Now, that may seem shady, and I get that, uh, but yeah, um, I guess we'll just review what happened. Damn! So, first round was against Florida Panthers. Um, does it show it? We can go and look at our schedule, right? God damn it. I am so annoyed with myself right now. So Florida Panthers, we lost the first game three to two, and then we won four straight, um, one nothing, six four, four nothing, and three two. Second round was against Pittsburgh Penguins. We swept them four three five two three two one nothing. Eastern Conference Finals was against the Carolina Hurricanes. That went seven. Uh, we were actually down two to one in that one. Then we won three. Uh, we won two straight to take a three two lead. We lost game six, one game seven, four to one. And then the Stanley Cup final. Um, again, I, I'm, I'm so annoyed with myself. Uh, we won the first three games handily, five nothing, six two, five one. Then we lost six three. We lost three two, and then we won game six, four to one. Uh, Casey Middlestat with two goals and that one. Tuck with a goal and an assist. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say other than I'm really, really, really annoyed with myself. Um, Yeah, I don't know. So I guess we're going to do the offseason in this episode. I'm really bummed out by this. Um, if you look at the stats for the postseason, um, Eichel, you can see 30 points in 22 games. He was just an absolute monster. 19 goals. Uh, was absolutely fantastic. A plus 19 in 22 games. Middle stat. We had a ton of injuries. Um during the postseason, players missing three, four games. You can see Tuck missed some time. Cousins missed some time. Power missed some time. We had to call up um, Brett Murray from Rochester, who hadn't played a regular season game in Buffalo all year. Had to play in the in the, uh, in the the playoffs because of injury. You can see um, we lost Olofsson midway through the postseason. So, yeah, we, we suffered a bunch of injuries, but we... We managed to hang on, and we won the stance. This is super anticlimactic, and I'm really bummed out because this should have been a long-term, you know, good video, but here we are. So, um, yeah. So we're going to – I guess we'll do the off-season, and I'll, I'll try to try to maintain some level of, of enthusiasm here. I'm super bummed out. Uh, that, that it ended this way, that um, I just, I always hit record on OBS, always, always. Uh, I don't know if I just missed the button or, or what, but uh, <sighs> damn, 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 damn. Okay, well, we won the Stanley Cup at any rate, so that's a good thing. So we are going to try for a repeat here. Uh, Stadnik is out for six months, hurts himself in the final game of the season. We signed all of our coaches. You can, yeah, I deleted a lot of the messages, but you can see injuries to Olafson, Cousins, and Kubali just came back at the beginning of the se- at the beginning of the series. Uh, yeah, so there we are. <laughs> you can choose to believe me or not, but believe me when I say there was no cheating. Uh, I'm just a dummy. So we're gonna go ahead and continue. And we'll get up to, oh, now we got some players who are starting to be healthy, of course. Olafson add to the roster. Uh, damn. All right. Yeah, so uh, we, we won it all. In our third season, we win the, uh, the, the, uh, the Stanley Cup. Good for us. Hall of Fame runoff. I am going to vote for Alfredson. Let's continue here forward a bit. Awards won't be until postseason, I believe. Like after, like once we get to the off season, if I remember correctly. So we'll sim here up to the thirtieth. I'll save it and then I'll pause and sim ahead today a day to get to um, to uh, um, 
the first day of the offseason. Yeah, I'm really, really annoyed with myself, if you can't tell. Because uh, I had been sitting here uh, playing the... I had been playing for, I don't know, about 30 minutes, 25, 30 minutes, something like that. Um, yeah, so, all right. We didn't win manager of the year. Reached the playoffs. Winning season. Finished... Didn't finish first. Reached the finals. Won the championship. So we should get a lot of points to spend, which will be good. We have eight points to spend. So I want to put them into coaching forwards. Let's put three into coaching forwards. Let's put two into coaching goalies. And then one into offensive, defensive, and physical. Uh, all right, so Quinn will be back soon. Uh, trade between Eric, Braden Holtby traded to the Canucks for a second. Free agency preview. Mason McTavish, two and a half star, five star potential, but uh, he is um, going to be an RFA. Yeah, Jacob Vrana. What do we want to? We need to bring him back. Uh, he wants three years, so let's do this. Can we do three years? I want to try to get him at, um, six million. Three years at six million. Oh, we can get him for even less than that. Even better. Cool. Three years at 5.85 million. See if we can sign him, uh, before anybody else gets a shot at him. Uh, Jason Robertson is available. Carter Hart Sam Reinhardt. Yeah, Jason Roberts is a four-star, five-star uh, potential player. 16 offense. Oof. Wow. Not great. I mean, not a great career stats. I mean, he's a point-every-other-game guy, but his ratings suggest he should be better than that. All right, so we're going to sim to... Uh, oh, it's the uh, award ceremony, so let's do that real quick. So, Hart Trophy nominees, Point Matthews McKinnon goes to Braden Point with 105 points. Uh, Conn Smythe, Jack Eichel, no surprise there. Calder Trophy, Rot, uh, Rotti, per, uh, Perot, and Bedard goes to Perot. Norris Trophy, Theodore, Petrangelo, Yossi goes to, no surprise there, Theodore. Letkin and Stone, Carlson for the Selkie. Goes to Lekkonen of the Bruins. Vezina, Gorgiev, Sorokin, and Saros. Goes to Sorokin. Executive of the year goes to Stevie Y. And the best coach goes to Jeff Blasel. All right. And we're going to sim ahead now to uh, July 1st. And I will be back then. All right, guys. We are back on July 1st. As we go to, or go to, we try to. Uh, or try to repeat. So what has happened in the last 24 hours? Uh, we got all this. We got. We already looked at all this. Mad Zuccarello retires. Joe Pavelski. Max Pacioretty retires after a 40-goal season. Wow. Retires at 35. Alec Martinez. Duncan Keith. Dadanoff. Ryan Reeves. Blake Wheeler does retire. That's a shame. All right. Riley Nash. We did sign Jacob Vrana, so there we go. That works. Three years, $5.85 million. Um, I don't know if it was the postseason that, uh, that that triggered me for him, but we bring him back. Oh, Lars Eller, Giordano, Thomas Grice. Braden Holpe, quick, retires and gets his number retired. The board is obviously extremely happy with us because we won the Stanley Cup. Um, the Bruins and the Blackhawks made two deals. The Bruins send Brandon Carlo and Jeremy Swayman to the Blackhawks in exchange for a second and a third. Really good deals there for the Blackhawks, I believe. Picking up Carlo, who's still 27, pretty good defensively, and a young Jeremy Swayman, who had a good year last year. Philadelphia makes a deal with Arizona. Tanner Lasinski to the Coyotes for a third. Colin Miller to the Ducks for a third. And they then turn around and trade a third-round pick. Or they get a third-round pick. So wait a second. 
The Flyers trade Lisinski to the Coyotes for a third. They trade Miller to the... Uh, oh, these are backwards. Okay. Um, Miller is being shipped from the Flyers to the Ducks for a third. And then they turn around and they trade a third. Or trade or pick up another third for Cam Afkins. So did they pick up three third-round picks? Is that what I'm seeing here? Yes. Yeah, so the Flyers just picked up three third-round picks. Anaheim... Just trades Justin Hall to the Maple Leafs and Jamie Alexiak to Vegas for a fifth. A lot of coaches retire. Anybody for us doesn't appear to be. Uh, all right, so let's see where we stand. Uh, let's just see where we look financially. Oh, God, we got a, a crap ton of money. Um, well, I guess we don't have a crap. We have $13 million in cap space, but uh, what do we need to do with said cap space? First thing we need to do is go to our injury list and bring both of these guys back. Uh, anybody that we need to... Yeah, so we want to sign Nemestikov. Poltapov. Ah, he's signed a contract in the K. Damn it. Oh, he's got one year left. Okay. Uh, Allen? Yeah, we'll sign Cameron Allen. Uh, where is... Where is Portillo? Is he actually a free agent? Yep. Uh, um, all right, hopefully we can sign him and we don't lose him. That would be a kick in the junk. Uh, all right, upcoming free agents. It's not, oh my gosh, okay. Uh, <laughs> um, Unsigned. Anybody else that we want to resign? Anybody else that we want to sign? I should say. Uh, Ivanov has one year left. We got to sign Saganuk. I don't want his rights to lapse. And who was the other one? Kisikov. Yeah, we'll sign him as well. All right, so we're down to about six or about nine million dollars, give or take, in free agent money, and some of that's going to have to go to. Um, oh man, some of that's going to have to go to upcoming free agents. So if we look at our upcoming free agents. There's a lot to unpack here. So, Pekka Lukanen, yeah. 6.35 for three years. Can we get him down to six? Let's bump that up. I'd love to sign him three years at six million. Does that get it done? All right. We'll just give him that. I'm okay at 6-1. Uh, oh, boy. Okay. Um, Lankinen will walk. I think Kubalik will walk. Obviously, we got to re-sign some of these guys. We, gotta re uh, we have to re-sign Quinn. Yep. Just give him that. It's fine. We got to resign Johnson. Oh, that's a nothing contract. Eight twenty-five. Sure. Uh, so Luke and Quinn Johnson have all been resigned. I would like to bring back Olafson. I don't know if I want to bring him back for that much though. Studnika. Oof. We got a lot of decisions to make. What about Mason Shaw? We get Shaw three for five years. So let's start four seven fifty. 
use for all. I have two. I bet we can get them three for five, and I would be okay with that. Yep, 4870. I am good with that. All right, <clears throat> so Shaw, Lucan, and Quinn Johnson, and the rest we can address throughout the season. Um, what do we need? Uh, I don't really know, to be honest with you. We are in pretty damn good shape. Um, so our first line, we may change up our first line. We lose Wheeler. So we need, so who moves up to that first line left wing? I mean, do we just go back to Olofsson? One, two, three, four. Let's just dress both of these guys. I can't dress Samuelson. We just know that Samuelson is our number six defenseman right now. And we have to dress two more forwards. Quinn and, I guess, Mastro Simone? Yeah. But we're going to have a lot of forwards uh, that, we're, that we're signing. So I think we go... Something like this. No, I want to. I kind of want. I want to leave Rana on that second line. Move Tuck up to the second line because I want that goal scoring. I feel like if I put Vrana on the first, we would be too top line heavy. I don't think we need much. Um, we may. Uh, let's go back to the free agent center. There are a. I mean, there's a ton of good talent here. Um, I wish this would show <clears throat> what their demands are. Is there some way to look at that? No, there's not. All right, that's fine. Uh, God, I hope, poor t we, we, I hope I didn't screw this one up. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, I don't. I mean, there's some good players here. Who's Fogel one? I'm like, yeah, four point five. I I don't know that I want to make any of these deals. I just, I don't know. Like he's, we've got an A scouting, but we're only at a C confidence level um anthony bovillier koklachev finally makes it out of the k at age 30 tony d'angelo uh andre palat yeah i don't really think we're gonna be all that active in free agency we got um, Nemestikov, Kisikov, Saganuk, and Cameron Allen all coming in. And Cameron Allen can be our seventh defenseman. So, Mike Riley, yeah. God, he's so bad. Brandon Montour might not be a bad option. He's 30 years old. Physical, decent offensive ratings. What does he want? Three years, $5 million. Yeah, I don't want to pay him that. Robertson resigns with the Bruins. Okay, so I was waiting for him to be a free agent. He didn't actually make it. Same thing with Nick Robertson. Signs with Toronto. Any other big contracts here? No. I'm pissed that I missed. Uh, let's just sim ahead a day and see what happens with... Um, with... Uh, um, my biggest concern is Portillo. All the other guys are going to sign with us, obviously. Because <clears throat> if we can sign Portillo, I may look to move Lankinen. Although, no, I think if we sign Portillo, we keep him in Rochester for the year and let him develop. And then next year, Lankanen goes away, and we run with Lukanen and Portillo. All right, so Portillo doesn't sign yet. Shaw signs. Uh, Pekka Lukanen signs. Quinn Johnson 
Saginaw, Kisikoff, Nemesikoff, Allen. They're all going to sign, obviously. Washington and Winnipeg, Eric Howla for Nate Schmidt. Colton Ellis for Jordan Stahl. Capo Kakinen for Ronnie Attard. Quinn Olson to the Hurricanes for Freddie Anderson and Massimo Rizzo. Freddie Anderson, now a Boston Bruin. Nyback for Chase Bradley. Bunneman for Isamont. Jake Evans for Nate Smith in Canada wants me to take over their team. I have no interest in doing that. Uh, all right, so we'll go ahead one more day and see if we can sign Portillo. And if we do, then we'll kind of re reassess where we are as a team because I don't, again, I don't think we need to do a lot in free agency. I think we're in pretty good shape. None of that helps. Some ahead of day. So yeah, this video is fairly anticlimactic, and I apologize for that. Um, of all the videos to not uh, to not uh, not record, this one is uh, pretty crazy. So Nemestikov signs with us. He wants number 81. He can't have number 81, so we can have another weird number. He can have 91. All right. So I'm ahead to the next day. And I'm also... Uh, this was just a bad recording for me because I forgot to do my 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 end of the season... Uh, my end of the season review. So it was just a bad... Bad, bad time for me. A bad episode for me. Hopefully we can repeat and you guys can kind of go along for the ride. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Uh, um, Jack Quinn is almost healthy. That's great. Let's him ahead to the 6th, which is, I believe, the draft, right? 6th should be the draft. Should be the draft lottery and the draft, actually. Cameron Allen signs. We'll give him five because he can't have four. All right, draft lottery. So, Bruins get the number 16 pick. Flyers 15. Senators, Wild, Leafs, Islanders, Sharks. Ooh, the Kraken are going to get a top three pick. Capitals at seven. Ducks at, or Ducks at eight. Coyotes at 7, Canadians at 6, Columbus at 5, Dallas at 4, Kings at 3, the Blackhawks at 2, and the Kraken move from 9 to 1. Good for them. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to get through the draft, and then I'm just going to call it an episode. I'm a little frazzled right now, having screwed all that up um but uh yeah i will we'll get this episode out and then uh we will re-attack it on friday i guess will be the plan so portillo signs saganuck signs kiss a cucks kiss a kiss a cough sign so portillo wants one you can't have one i'll give him 50 he's a bit upset well i don't care Saginaw wants nine. That's assigned to Eichel. He'll have six. All right. So, <laughs> look at all this friggin' talent. Uh, Portillo will start in Rochester, though, so we won't have that. Uh, we have five right wings. Quinn Cousins, Kubalik, Vrana, Eichel, Shaw, Middlestat, Master, Simone, uh, Tuck, Olafson. Yeah, our left side could be a little better. Do we still have... Where's Quinn? Oh, right there. So one of these... So Yeah, our wings are a little... Oh, because Nemestikov is considered a center, right? Yeah. And can he play anything else? Not really. Um, middle stack can play on the left. 
So maybe we make middle stat a left winger. Since that's where we were a little weak. And now we've got Tuck, Olaf, uh, Olafson, middle stat, and first off uh, with Kisikov there as well as our left wings. Our center, our centers are now Eichel, Shaw, Nemestikov, Master Simone, and then on the right we got Cousins, Kubali, Vrana, and Quinn. Yeah, I don't defensively power Dahlin, Johnson, Clefbaum, Klingberg, um, Matt uh, Samuelson when he comes back. Uh, with Allen as our as our seventh defenseman, so I don't yeah I don't know that we need to do anything from a free agent perspective. I think we are in pretty good shape here. Uh, so let's just get to the draft. Uh, where are we picking? Last, I would imagine. Yeah, thirty second. All right, so let's just sim up to our pick. The first pick with Berkeley Catton. To the Kraken, Braden Dube or Dubé to the Blackhawks, Cole Iserman to the Kings, Clark Caswell to the Stars, Bodon to the Blue Jackets, Tanner Howe, wonder if there's any relation to Gordy, to the Canadiens, Tanzim to the Coyotes, Boulanger to the Ducks, Gavin Garland to the Capitals, and Justin Gendron to the Sharks. All right. So, what do we need? Nothing, really, but... Uh, Adam Yeko, 18 years old. Pretty decent ratings for an 18-year-old, physically and offensive. Um, or Sterner. Sterner's 6'4", 211 as an 18-year-old, and he's 6'4", 219. We're going to take Adam Jekko with our first pick. Until human. Gardula. Zidlicky. Meh. Safe suggestions. Uh, Johan Seidbach. Scout suggestions. They think we should take Tobias Uman. Tobias Uman, Sweden. Out of Brynjas. I mean, he looks okay. Um, I'd rather take a defenseman. Artem Levshinov. No, he's really bad defensively. Oh, wow. That is a bad draft. Huh. Okay. Well, I mean, part of it is we're picking last, so. Um, Goodelge? Medicine Hat? No. Keith McKinnis? 18-year-old, 6 foot, a buck 90. I think it's going to be Gardula. No, it's not going to be Gardula. Is it going to be Zidlicky? No. Hmm. Henberry. Joseph Henberry. No, he's no good either. <sighs> Alexi Donsa. He's in the K, but I think we go with Alexi Donsa. off. a little bit more advanced. He's going to be in the K, so we may not be able to ever sign him, but... A little bit more advanced right now. Pick until human. So we don't have third round picks. We go to the fourth. Uh, goalie. Nicholas Avakian out of Los Angeles. Otto Nudo. That's a name. We're going to take Otto Nudo just because of the name. Otto Nudo. Next pick. Barry, we got an. He's not really an overager. He's only nineteen. Polshikov. Don't really know much about him. Um, risky pick. They think we should take Mitya Stebby 
a 19 year old okay I mean he looks like he's got some decent ratings there wait oh it's not my pick All right, now it's my pick. Now we'll take Steady. Pick until human. What round are we in? We're in the sixth. Uh, Martin Johnson. We're going to take Alessandro Segafredo, who is... Uh, where is this? Is that South America? So, South Africa? Yeah, it is. So he's swiss italian and south african absolutely alessandro segafredo come on down that is a uh that is a thing right there and pick until human and the final pick of the draft will be polshikov nah. yeah it'll be polshikov bad draft bad draft bad episode bad youtuber <laughs> how i am that's how things went for me so we will go ahead and finish that up it'll sim ahead a couple of games until i get a notification and then that'll be it and then we'll get up to the beginning of the off season or the beginning of the regular season in the next episode and we'll make that one a little bit longer i actually wasn't even planning on recording a video today and i probably should have maintained that because i would have been able to think a little bit more about it and i wouldn't have screwed up but here we are so uh, we win the Stanley Cup in our third season. You're going to have to take my word for it. <laughs> we won the Stanley Cup in our third season over the Vegas Golden Knights. Uh, a very, it's a, a quick a quick episode because it's a light off season. We didn't do, we're not going to do anything in free agency. We don't need to. Um, most of the money that we have, I want to use on the players that are already on our roster as we continue to develop our depth. Uh, and we'll see if we can repeat. We will see if we can repeat. <clears throat> so, there we go. All right. Grandland, looking like he might sign with... Two teams overseas. Two teams, two teams in Europe and Nashville. Uh, draft review. We don't have a draft overview. Like, who had the best draft? Who had the worst draft? Man, it hasn't come out yet. I don't know. At any rate, guys, that's going to do it for this one. Um, I'm sorry I screwed it up. Uh, hopefully we can repeat and you guys can, can kind of make the run with me in year two. So I'll talk to everybody on Friday. Have a great rest of your Tuesday. Talk to everybody soon. Bye-bye.